It's described as the toughest league in the world, and in the opening months of the season, Bolton Wanderers have discovered exactly why the English Premiership is such a demanding division. Certain results may not have gone the way Bolton would have liked on their return to the good time, but Premiership football has undoubtedly been an adventure for which they've gained a great deal of experience. How appropriate that the Wanderers, one of the founder members of the Football League, should rejoin the football elite in the centenary year of Burnden Park. It's not just a celebration for one of the game's most famous stadiums, of course, but also a farewell with the new ground being built on the outskirts of the town, ready for completion in 1997. One last chapter in its history still has to be written. It was to be in one of football's less glamorous surroundings, though, that Bolton received their initiation into Premiership football. Bolton's opening match of the season took them to Selhurst Park to play Wimbledon. It was the start of a new era for the club and the management team of Colin Todd and Roy McFarland, brought in to replace Bruce Rioch. Vinnie Jones with the long wind-up throw into the box. Flicks on, and that is the worst possible start for Bolton. Efren Okoku on at close hand to smash in the first goal of the season. And that is just a nightmare. from the throw-in, a near-post flick on, and very well taken by Akoku in that six-yard box. Vinnie Jones, just want a shorter throw, but he gets it in first time, and there's problems in there as well, and that's going to be number two. Robbie Earl gambling in the penalty box, and just stuck out his head in the end, and it drifted over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net so Bolton kicking off for the second time of the match that looked a bad tackle and they're saying it was inside the penalty box Jason McAteer's in there as well the penalty's been given. Referee didn't need too much persuading in the end and pointed to the spot. Certainly a free kick. The only sticking point was whether it was inside the penalty area. So it's been given. And Alan Thompson has the chance of bringing Bolton back into this. Oh, it's beautifully taken by Thompson. And he waves the crowd on. Because that could spur a comeback now for Bolton. He's taken with precision. he wants it back from Green, he's got it and they're pushing it around nicely now Bolton playing with more confidence and it goes to the box and that's the Francis with a great volley and a great goal struck it so true and it was too much for the keeper to hold Fabian De Freitas gets a deserved equaliser and you won't see a volley better than that one Enormous following from Bolton are happy now. And the referee is having a word with Vinnie Jones and with Jason McAteer. And it's a yellow card. Holdsworth has sealed it. The following Tuesday. With a precision centre. The Freitas. It's down Thompson. Thompson, good play switch for Phillips. Phillips can hold it up in the middle. McAteer, great dummy. Fairclough hits the shot. There's a chance in there for Coyle. 
and he pushes it past his lock, and that's the equaliser. But I think it won't count. Just as the shot was driven in there, the offside flags up. And it's going to be ruled out. Just good turn and holding it up nicely for Thompson again. Phillips is there. And he's got over a cross of sorts. And they're working it nicely for Makatia. And that's just wide. His lock was scampering across to his near post and perhaps had it covered. Now Bergson's in there. Great header. Super goal, and Bolton have the equaliser that they've been pressing for for so long now. Well, Coyle's goal was ruled out, but there was no mistaking that one. Just floated up there the corner, and Bergson got so much pace in the header. Top corner stuff. The following Saturday saw the champions Blackburn Rovers at Burnden Park in a game that was a throwback to the traditional Lancashire derbies between the two clubs. Another crowd of more than 20,000 saw Bolton register their first points of the season. Alan Shearer ready to kick off this Lancashire derby. David Batty with an early touch. Driven forward by Blackburn. Commanding in the defence from Bolton. Henningberg. We'll try to squeeze that through. It's been well dealt with by Stubbs and back to the keeper. And Brannigan's forced to rush a little bit there. Alan Stubbs just caught in a tangle on the edge of his area. Phillips. Oh, great gamble by McAteer in the middle of the field. It paid off. Strong running now, Jason McAteer. He's still going, he's done really well. Thompson now sees a little gap and he's driven in the shot and it was worth a dig. That'll do for a corner for Bolton. Oh, great break from the back from Green. Now he's going to look to feed it through, it just didn't work out, but Blackburn are looking anything but safe there, and here's Thompson again with half a chance to get the ball in, taking the deflection, but it's still in there, and will that be another corner? No, goal kick, but they'll be encouraged by this excellent start to the match, Bolton. Playing it through the middle again nicely. Good football. McAteer has found Green again. And that's a good looking cross in there. And Berg's header only drops to Thompson. De Freitas is in there. Still a chance for De Freitas. He's managed to squeeze it in. Bolton have the lead. And it's De Freitas yet again. Well, when it came, it was a scramble. But the passing movement that led to the goal was again full of finesse. Berg's clearance began the problems. Thompson knocked it back in. Hendry and Flowers were in total confusion. And when it came in again, De Freitas hooked it into the roof of the net. It's just his presence that causes the problems. He was able to stay on his feet. In the end, it was very close, but just in. <laughs> Phillips, great turn by Thompson. He's got a sense of goal again. And the reaction of the goalkeeper tells you that it wasn't too far away. 
turned nicely on his left foot and then drilled it forward and Flowers knew that was close. Certainly travelling. Now Shearer holding it up for Batty who will try one. No problems for Brannigan. Time and a thoroughly satisfying first half for Roy McFarland and for Fabian De Freitas, who scored the only goal. Bolton lead 1 0. forward early this time by Bolton the Freitas again the target and again he makes it difficult for the defenders Pierce's header is not dominant it's a good clearance by David Batty help back to Brannigan we'll just have to be a little careful of Sutton and Ace goes round him nicely and a great clearance to go with it Berg for Blackburn. Batty. Sherwood helping it forward. And there's still danger in there as the shot's driven towards goal and it's just crept in. Matty Holmes, the new recruit from West Ham, has struck the goal for Blackburn. Against the run of play. Well executed, nonetheless. Just on the edge of the area, turn and check, wriggled away, and it took a wicked deflection. Now this is Blackburn's best spell of the game, but Lachaud's given it away, and there's a break on for Bolton here. The freight is just shrugging off another tackle oh it's a brilliant run by him Lee helps it out wide Thompson he's driven one again and it's again just past that far goal post from Alan Thompson took it in his stride and struck that one even better and again Flowers was rushing across his goal mouth. There's not much in that. Lee, he's got great pace and he's taken down by Graham Lasso, gets a free kick. Mike Newell's going to come on for Blackburn. Sutton's off, he doesn't look too happy about it. So they've seen off £5 million pounds with a striker. takes it oh that's a good header and it's an unstoppable goal from Alan Stubbs connected with it brilliantly and it just sailed into the stanchion Flowers had no chance it's a 
brilliant ball in, but the header, quite fantastic. Met it with full force. And, well, Flowers is picking it out of the back of the net. Testing spell for Bolton now. The greatest turn center all ends up. Oh, great through ball as well. Can Lee make something of it? I think he's offside. Well, again, De Freitas making the break from midfield, and he really has been a thorn in Blackburn's side. And that's the whistle, a result that means so much to Bolton Wanderers and an excellent performance. Bolton had finally arrived and the victory confirmed that Blackburn was making an uneasy start to their defence of the championship. There was still doubt though over the future of Stubbs and teammate Jason McAteer. Ironically, both were being linked with Blackburn at the time. From Burnden Park, it was off to Villa Park for a fixture against an Aston Villa side that had struggled the previous season, was expected to do well under the management of Brian Little. Oh, that's nice from Thompson. Oh, it's a good ball into De Freitas. Brave stop by the keeper, Bosnich, to deny De Freitas. Lovely break by Thompson. And that could have been the first goal. Paul McGrath knocked it forward long, nicely on the chest of York, and a good shot, but it across the face of goal, and Brannigan saved it because a call has been given. Milosevic for Villa. Oh, it's a good ball over, and York's header has crept in at the far post, agonisingly for Bolton. Milosevic has crossed. Patterson. Corner from the left flank this time. And it may well drop for Green on the far side and takes a wicked deflection wide of the post. September saw Brian Robson's Middlesbrough visit Brendan Park for a clash between the two newly promoted teams. It also marked a special moment for the Wanderers' popular striker John McGinley as he celebrated his first goal in Premiership football. He's had a penalty. A referee was a good 25 yards away and didn't have a clear view and doesn't give a penalty. You can see the referee right in the centre of the field. It was certainly an untidy challenge from Phillips, but not one worthy of a spot kick, according to Mr. Allenson. Tagging intercepts again. Defratis. Now McGinley, this is what he likes to run at defenders. He's trying to chip. Oh! John McGinley. McGinley makes his mark in the Premiership. And he rises to the elevated status. When he received the ball, there looked to be little danger, but that was improvisation, spotting the goalkeeper off his line, and a beautiful finish. Now Patterson. Good skill. Where's he going there? Phillips looking for De Freitas. Would prefer it on his right foot. Shows a trick or two. His shot had the sting taken out of it. Such an unpredictable player. The Bolton players will tell you themselves they never know 
quite what he's going to do next. I don't think he did in that situation. It almost came off. Jimmy Phillips. And his weaker right foot had some power behind it. And he scored one goal last season, and that was from about that range against Wolves when it flew into the top corner. Freitas. Away he goes. Slips sliding all over the place. The flag stays down. Onside Pollock, he's got to go alone, he does, Brannigan saves for it seems the umpteenth time. And this man's form has been of the highest standard. Four occasions this afternoon, he stopped players, have been bearing down on goal. Pollock just the latest of them. Shields well again, turns nicely but finds Bergson just behind him. Thompson, as they call him the trader forwards challenge talking quickly Barnby great pass and this time Brannigan is beaten and Craig Hignett gets the goal it's Hignett who takes the fans adulation but again, it was brilliant approach play, and look at that for a pass by Nicky Barnby. And a wonderful finish as well by Hignett. And the players they call the twins, Barnby and Hignett, combined to bring Middlesbrough back into the game. One of the fixtures Bolton fans were looking forward to was a visit to Old Trafford to play Manchester United. That is, of course, had Bolton fans been allowed into the game. But redevelopment work at Old Trafford meant Bolton fans were excluded from the ground. And the absence of any away following meant the fans couldn't inspire the side against a formidable United team. Beckham, across the ball, beautifully picks out Giggs. First touch is impeccable. Brian Giggs causing problems, good ball in, and Scholes will get the first Manchester United goal amid confusion in the Bolton defence. away right flank to great ball in again Giggs that's number two again an excellent move now Green's flighted that long and De Freitas has got on the end of it De Freitas can he oh it's just Bruce that takes it away from him and that was a strong 50-50 Lee on the right Floated it up deep. There's a chance for Thompson to get it back in. Whips it in. And it's flicked away. But look at that for a drive by Patterson. And Schmeichel had to tip it over. Beckham for Manchester United. Oh, lovely ball for Giggs. Fine touch for scores. And yet another. That's number three. And Bolton are shattered. After spending the opening part of the season generally regarded as underdogs, Bolton assumed the mantle of favourites for a Coca-Cola Cup second round tie against Brentford. Green now. And Lee. And Lee's catches himself the pace. And why shouldn't he with that turn of pace? Oh, and there's the effort. Flipped round the post well by the keeper. Bergson. taken it in his stride. Plays it back in for Thompson. Thompson will shoot here just wide. Look at the deflection. as he finds sneakers, so is he, Green's back there, Thompson's there, and that really should have been one there. Thompson, Thompson from long, long range, and the keeper 
Cooper again gets across his goal now to make the save. Patterson shot, and again it's wide. And the Freitas flicks it over the top. McGinley holds it up nicely. Thompson. Patterson. Managed to get a free kick, yes. Edge of the penalty area. And this is the sort of range that Richard Sneakers can hit them from. Definitely a late tackle from behind. And this could be Bolton's last chance. He's working out the set piece routine there. Thompson fancies a strike. Patterson's over it. It's going to be Sneakers to hit it. Oh, yes, great goal. Powers it into the corner. And that will do nicely for Bolton. The end of the game where they created so many chances, but just couldn't score. It was next stop Liverpool for Bolton. The season couldn't have started with a more daunting schedule for the Wanderers and these matches were to provide a huge test of their Premiership pedigree. Jamie Redknapp forages forward for Liverpool. Always oh, spotted Fowler in the area, and Fowler doesn't miss too many from that range. Spotted the gap in the defence. Oh, kicked by James, and Fowler's been left alone, and Robbie Fowler will surely make it too, and does. Well, it's pretty much route one by Liverpool that time. Collymore's up there. Steve McManaman. Square touch for Redknapp. And it goes again. Fowler's going to get a hat-trick. He's done it. Goal poacher supreme. Struggling. Fowler looking for number four. Well, that's class. Sneakers. Oh, he's going to get on the end of his own ball there. Sneakers still going. He can hit them from this range, but James denies him. It's back in again, and there is the goal. And Bolton desperately needed it. Took it well ahead of. Well, the Freitas has done that well. Lee is brought down, and that's surely a penalty, and it's given. No question about the challenge from behind by Harkness. And it will be Patterson. Oh, and that's emphatic. Drove it straight in the middle of the net. James moved. Redknapp's corner. Will it beat in the end? Here's Harkness. Oh, that's a beautiful strike. Hit it like a cannonball. And Bolton's brief comeback disintegrates. What do you think has been the biggest difference there? I mean, obviously you've played at the top flight, but what do you think has surprised your players the most, if anything? I don't think it surprises. I just think it's the level and the standard that we're playing at the quality of the players, the passing, and the, possibly the, the major difference has been the clinical fi finishing that the opposition have. You know, we found it costly in terms of we've made uh, maybe one or two mistakes and all of a sudden we've been punished for them, and that's the level that we're playing at.